we left Madrid and was planning to go to Pamplino. Uh, we were delayed in Madrid because of the amount of traffic that's flying around in that area. We did get some help from uh, friends on Instagram of Javier who uh, gave us details for collecting fuel and lights. Thanks for that. This is our dog Percy. He's eight years old. He loves flying with us. He's got his ear defenders on and he just um, lays down in the back, goes to sleep most of the time. Right, as we left Madrid, uh, we climbed up to around about seven or eight thousand for the mountains. And as you can see, the mountains here, the weather's clear. Uh, the mountains did give us a little bit of problems with uh, updrafts and downdrafts. We had to keep an eye on the height. We was uh, in some on a downdraft. We could lose uh, between five and two thousand feet. Uh, a reason why you should stay. 2,000 feet above any mountains you're flying across. I thought it was fine. I didn't really, um, wasn't really worried. The views are fantastic. We had to divert from Pamplino because the it was running late in the day. We were trying to get to Bergerac, so we diverted to San Sebastian. As you see, the weather was clear. Right, San Sebastian's right on the coast and there's no traffic and we've got a direct in on runway 04. The airfield actually is in a really beautiful position right by the sea so it was quite quite romantic actually landing here. When we got here, the flight planning office was uh, a lot of help and uh, we tried to get out to get to Bergerac, but uh, Bergerac closed at 7 and we weren't going to make that time, so we had to stay here for the night. I see we're backtracking here to the GA uh, parking space. Ready, Purse? We've got to find the hotel. Come on. The staff here was really great and helped us with everything we needed and helped us with finding the hotel and getting a taxi and everything. Okay, we're in uh, San Sebastian and um, waiting for the weather to clear. 